Every health influencer out there is giving you conflicting information about diet sodas and artificial sweet. You can't really build a strong argument that it's something we should be worried about. If you feel like a can of Coke Zero, you should have that. This is shit. I use this to clean the toilet. As a medical doctor who is obsessed with nutrition, I'm gonna give you this science. Artificial sweeteners are widely consumed, but at this time, we really do not know their long-term impact on our health. But this video is gonna discuss why you may be stalling in your weight loss and how diet soda and or artificial sweeteners may not be helping you as much as you think. Look, the studies are mixed. There are some studies that find that artificial sweeteners help you lose weight, while other studies show that it can actually lead to weight gain. Understand that every patient is unique and you may or may not respond exactly the same way as predicted by these studies. Everyone is trying to find the next hack for weight loss. A lot of people resort to replacing sugar-filled drinks with artificially sweetened drinks. Many diet sodas contain artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, or saccharin to provide sweetness without the calories. Some studies suggest that these sweeteners may affect appetite regulation, metabolism, your gut bacteria, potentially leading to weight gain and metabolic issues in the long term, while others say that they can help you with weight loss. So you may be on your weight loss journey right now, losing weight by getting rid of sugar. Find that you've stalled with your weight loss. There may be a few reasons behind this. First, realize that diet soda filled with artificial sweeteners can potentially lead to retention of fluid and weight gain. And part of the reason is because it increases insulin. And yes, your blood sugar may not go up with these sweeteners, but your insulin levels can increase, causing you to retain more fluid. Realize that all the sweeteners can increase your insulin levels. And although your blood sugar may not increase, your insulin levels can. When your body tastes something sweet, it releases insulin. This is how artificial sweeteners can still create a release in insulin. And increased amounts of insulin make it harder for you to lose fat because insulin is an expert at storing fat. And this insulin response can spill over and cause you to crave carbs that you've been trying so hard to cut out. You may also notice that you may start craving those sweet foods that you were trying to get rid of in the first place, potentially increasing your carb addiction in the long term leading to that unwanted weight gain. Artificial sweeteners are known to contain excitotoxins, which are substances added to food and beverages that can potentially cause neuronal damage. And these sweeteners and additives can be named in different ways and have infiltrated a lot of the foods that you can find at the grocery store. Each type of sweetener can potentially damage neuronal cells to a different degree. Comment down below if you want me to do a longer video on this. Whether you use artificial sweeteners or not, your best bet is to get some baseline lab work done and experiment by eliminating them to see if they're helping you with your issues. No patient is the same and everyone is unique. Getting objective results from your lab work based on your specific nutrition plan is the best way to assess why or why not your weight loss routine is working. 